Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Hi boys. Actually, I have two Dollar Tree hauls. I got so much stuff, we're gonna split this into two. I'm not even moving this spot. I'm not changing my clothes. I'm not even getting a new teacup. By the way, I have tea. And this is actually Barry's tea. I get it from iHerb. It's an import from Ireland and I love it. If you like a nice black tea. Hi, baby. I have Wellington here. He hears me talking. There's his little head. Hi, buddy. Oh, it's okay. All right, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna put our tea away. Um, I've got Valentine's Day. I have Easter. And then I have some office supplies so I and some home goods. So I think what we'll do is Valentine's Day and office supplies in the first one. And then, in, ouch, oh. And then in the second one, I'll do Easter and home decor. How about that? Perfect, let's get started. First thing I found is this tissue paper. I love this tissue. I think last year I got it with pink, but it's um, white with little gold hearts. I use it when I wrap presents for Valentine's Day. You can also use it for like birthdays. You can use it for anniversaries. And you get six sheets and it's gift tissue. And I'm pretty sure it's Greenbrier. It's Greenbrier. So I grabbed that. I found some socks. And these, my friends, I believe are men's because it's size six to 12. It doesn't say, but I think they're men's. But look at the hot air balloons and this teal color. They have the gray heel, the gray toes, and the gray cuff. And I love them. And I don't care if they're a little big on me. I needed them in my life. So I grabbed those. And then I found, and these are definitely ladies, ugh, black kitty cats, mailing valentines, and they're nice and... Cute. And I love these too. And apparently there's a gnome pair out there that I need to find. Then I got some ribbon and I don't need ribbon in my life, but I thought this was fun to wrap some gifts for Valentine's Day. Um, I got the red and white gingham and then just the solid red and together they will make a pretty bow. And I just got one of each um, because I don't think I have any Valentine ribbon. I have a lot of like Christmas ribbon and other ribbon, but I don't have any other Valentines. Hi, baby. Um, I wanted this sign, something terrible. It is everything. I'm doing nothing to this sign, I can tell you that. The front is like, um, it's not painted on here. I would say that's like a, a paper that's glued on. The love sign is metal. The only thing that would make it better in my life is if the love sign was like bumped out a little bit and that's not anything I'm complaining about. This is gonna go, sorry, I'm using, it's nighttime outside, I'm gonna use a light. But this is going right on my wall for Valentine's Day. Not doing anything to it. I love it. I don't do a lot of decorating for Valentine's Day, but some. Um, I got some garland. I don't know where I'm going to hang this. Normally, I would. I think I picked it up thinking I was at work. I was going to be at work for my cubicle, but I'm not. But it's just um, holographic hearts in red and purple, and they're hung together on silver little metal rings. So it might go on my mantle. It may, it'll go somewhere. In my kitchen, maybe, because I do have, excuse me, boys. Move out the way, buddy. I just moved a cat with my foot, not going to lie. Um, I have my shelves in the kitchen that I can decorate as well. Um, guys, you know I'm a gnome obsessed person, right? Look at these windows. And these are, let me check, let me check. I'll check on the middle one because I won't use mine, I don't think so. But I think these are like stickers opposed to just a window cling, I think. I'm trying to peel one off. No, these are window clings. So if you were gonna attach these to something, you would need to use like Mod Podge, and I'm on board with that. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> Look at the gnomes. Or I might just put them like on my bathroom mirror. I don't know, but look at it, they're so cute. And it says, you're so sweet, be my gnome. Oh, I love them. We'll figure out something to do with them. Oh, I found this. I have to put it away with my Christmas stuff. 
I never saw these at my store. This little lonely one just appeared. It's a tea light holder. He's a little reindeer. I got him for 50 cents. He'll go with my Christmas decor when I put that away. I picked up a set, three packs of these, yeah, of these grapevine hearts because I feel like there's a, a craft here. I just don't know what it is. And like some of the hearts aren't really hearts, they're more like triangles. So I wanted to make sure if I wanted the good heart shapes that I had plenty to choose from. Each package comes with five and you can make a wreath out of these, I feel like, or a garland, or like I know one of them is going on my tiered tray just sitting in there. So we'll see, but I thought these were really neat and I've never seen these before. These are definitely new along with all the gnome stuff. I think everything I bought is new, except for these two, and I know this one is new, and everybody's showing these. It just says love, 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 and this one just has hearts, 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 hearts. Um, one of these will be decoration, and one of them I will put some cookies in for a gift for a friend. Yeah. I love these little buckets. They're cute. Um, many things you can do with them besides filling them with candy. Um, actually, I don't know if these are new, but I love to do crafts with them and not just Valentine's Day crafts, but I like the red heart, the pink with the sparkle, and then this, the plain wood. And I like that the plain wood ones have a different shape and feel to them. And if you wanted them to, um, like say, have one swoop one way, you just have to peel that sticker off the back. But yeah, I love these. I grabbed those because I think I'm out from last year. Um, again, for my tiered tray, I got this heart sign. And it could be, this is again that, it's like the mason jars um, with the paper on the front. But you could see on this off. But I like it. And it just says all you need is love. And I'll probably put this in my tiered tray. It is flat right here. So it will sit which is kind of neat. And yet there's lots of crafts you can do, but I'm not a huge, like I said, I'll throw a couple, like once I decorate for winter, it's like, so I think this weekend I will undecorate Christmas and then I will just put up winter decor and then put some Valentine stuff out later. Um, I grabbed these and I didn't know until I saw somebody else's channel that these are different. They have like a house and stuff. But just so you know, there's a screw, like a little gold screw right here that will take this off the front. So I'm going to paint these. I might do something for like 4th of July. So I grabbed two and I love this galvanized tinning. It's not sharp, which is lovely because tin can be very sharp, but it is definitely galvanized or a galvanized type metal. So I grabbed two of those. I saw some more when I was in the store today. So I ran in to grab something else. And I was like, you know what? I, two is plenty. Girl, get your life together. You don't need everything. Um, I love this sign. This would be great if you want to do some crafting. You could sand this down because that is glitter. And put a piece of craft paper in here and make this anything you want. It's a pretty sign. It says, love makes a house a home. And I love that it's like the reverse canvas with the faux frame around the outside. It's pretty nifty. I'm not sure that you're going to get this apart to, to recraft it. But maybe if you worked hard enough, I'm just not going to work hard enough to take it apart. But you can. Um, and then I found this heart, which I think is super fun. And probably what's going to happen with this, I'm thinking, if I find a piece of... Um, scrapbook paper that I like that maybe has a heart holiday Valentine's theme girl get your words um I can cut it to fit these little pieces you could paint this you could put words over it I just liked I liked it I liked how the back it's not like the other signs that are kind of floppy it's definitely sturdy so something will happen on that I might just paint it like ombre color I don't know and then Friends. Let me just move this stuff out of my way. because so I'm about ready to get really excited here. I was in one of my stores and I happened to find two of the gnomes. 
and it was the two I wanted, the gray and the red. I didn't care for the blue and the brown. I think they're perfect for um, people who like those colors. I do, I don't not like blue, I love navy blue. I just didn't care for those gnomes because I feel like they didn't feel, they didn't feel valentine -y to me. These feel valentine -y to me and these are definitely gonna find a home in my tiered tray. So I got, um, somebody's pulling in across the street and blind to me, the red body with the pink hat and the little pink heart and the gray one with the pink hat and the little pink heart. Oh, and so I went back tonight because I thought, oh, I'll grab a couple and do a giveaway. Mm -mm. Hold on. And these were brand new out, just out of the box last night when I picked them up. Went back tonight, gone. And I have went in the last three days, I've gone to three different Dollar Trees and I only saw them once and I grabbed two. If I see any more, I'll grab them. We can do a giveaway for them. Oh, I love this sign. I just love it. I love this red. It's just such a jewel tone. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and my new socks that I do not need. I have so many pairs of socks, you guys. Okay. Now, some more exciting stuff. Like, what, Dollar Tree? Who are you? First and foremost, I found this. The coffee is always a good idea. Little notepads, post-its, and a, and a pen. I'll take it out of the plastic because this is all mine. It's going to sit on my desk. I forever am writing notes at work to myself. And I love that the little pen is like attached. Is it like a, okay, maybe there, it's a fake pen. I don't, it's not coming off. Oh, there we go. Ballpoint, just a ballpoint pen in black, but friends, what? It's my life, right? I love it. So I grabbed that, saw one and I only got one. I'm very proud of myself. Then I found, like, what Dollar Tree? This is a dupe for the Happy Planner mini note. The mini note from the Happy Planner. I know this because I have a Happy Planner. I have all the Happy Planner stuff. I'm trying to get this off. Come on, you can do it. I have all kinds of Happy Planner stuff, including, like, hole punches. Because this is my, like, this is what I use for a planner. So I want to see if it... And this is, now obviously it's not the same quality. I find it bizarre that the pages are this dark and they did have different styles. And I don't have a Happy Planner mini note to tell you if it's the same dimension, but I may go look. So yeah, this is really neat. And you get 60 pages, even the heart. That is so hot, that is such a dupe for the Happy Planner if you have one. These disc bound, I love. I have a hole puncher, so I could totally, if I need more paper, but, um, hello, happy planner dupe. So I found that and I'm going to take this with me when I go to Hobby Lobby next because it has the measurement, but I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Then I found three of these guys. This is a traveler's notebook. You need to understand like, to paper people, office supply people, this is a big deal. So it's like a suede material. So it's almost like a rubbery and then the fleecy on the inside. And then you get two individual notebooks. And if you see here in the center, it's the elastic and that's how it holds your notebooks in. So you can change out these notebooks. And I am 100% sure you could figure out a way to add a third one if you wanted to make it a little thicker. What? The only thing that would make me more happy and scream a little louder, because there was some squealing that took place at the Dollar Tree, is if they had some replacement notebooks, but I didn't see those. But still, this is 100% a traveler's notebook. Like a bullet journal traveler's notebook situation. Maybe I'll have a giveaway with one of these. Uh -huh. What do you think about that? So yeah, I mean, fantastic, fantastic quality. The cover is very sturdy. I mean, it's definitely gonna hold up. Yeah, I am. I'm in love 
with the Traveler's Notebooks. Let's do a thumbnail. <gasps> then, if that wasn't exciting enough, I know. I found the Bic Intensity. I did find the other Bic, pe Bic pens, but I don't need those in my life. But I found the Bic Intensity. I don't write with those little ballpoint pens. Um, I like a fatter pen. Um, I'm going to open these up because, of course, I got some for me and Sarah. These are the fine liners. So, again, if you do a traveler's notebook, a bullet journal, any type of planner, um, I'm going to write in here. You know these, like, fine liner pens are life when you're doing your drawings. So let's see how these write. Ooh, we like that. It's like... If I had to say, it's like a felt tip. And I don't know if this is a permanent. This says Bic Intensity. These are medium. So these are one millimeter. And you get three of them for a shiny dollar. So I grabbed two. I'll give that one to Sarah, probably in her Valentine's Day, because she's doing a bullet journal and a planner. Then I found, what? These are not name brand, these are from Jot. These pens are ballpoint pens in the point seven. So that's a really fine tip. And you get a, a pack of four black. And I love these because they have the ergonomic grip. They're triangular. And we're gonna write our name and see. Oh, very smooth. Very smooth writing, not quite, I'm trying to get without the glare of my light, sorry. <sighs> they write smooth. I mean, I would say I enjoy that a lot. This definitely will get written in for my, um, for my planner because I like a finer point. And these are the 0. 0.7 millimeters, so they're a little finer. But then they come in different colors, orange, Pink, purple, and blue. How springy are those? Let's write with the purple. I'm going to assume, and they even have the little uh, rubber on the tip. I'm going to assume they write the same. And I would be correct. Yeah, they write nice. They're, they write nice and smooth. This one has a pretty deep purple color. Definitely worth it if you... If you yourself are a planner person or you know somebody who is, so I may grab, uh, go back this weekend and grab another one of each and put it in a Easter or a Valentine's Day gift for my girl because I know she will enjoy writing with these as well. And I have not, this is the first time I'm seeing these at any of my stores and I only saw them at one. So... What the heck, Dollar Tree, are you doing to me? I thought this was my break after the holidays, but no, no, it's not. It's time to shop because we need all the stationery. Okay, I don't need any more stationery, but that's okay. All right, that is everything for the Valentine's stationery haul. Tomorrow, tune in for Easter all new, and housewares, all new. Not all new housewares, but I did first time I'm finding them, but this is, I have all new Easter stuff for tomorrow. All right, guys, I will talk with you later. Bye.